Uh, just crazy. I ask Andy to stick her head in here because um, one thing that's near and dear to her heart is education issues. Mm-hmm. And uh, we now have an education secretary uh, announced by Donald Trump. DeVos, I think is her. Betsy. Betsy DeVos. Yeah. Betsy DeVos. Or we DeVos. talked about her a little bit last week. She's from the state of Michigan. She's a Michigander. Um, and I don't know if she's from the UP or what. They kind of talk funny up there. But her <laughs> they husband, probably think we talk funny. <laughs> they probably do. Her <laughs> husband ran for governor, and you found out some information about her I didn't know. I, I was under the impression with some of the articles I'd read that she was a common core proponent, but in what you found out, that's not the case. Well, I, I was reading last night, I have a cold, a bit of a cold and I can't sleep, so I just sit on Facebook and read <clears throat> comments on articles okay. that are shared. Right. And a lot of people are saying, I, I can't, everything seems good about this, but she's for Common Core. And then some articles were shared, and I came across this from uh, Kelsey Harkness, and I'm going to talk to her on Saturday on my show. Uh, but she has an article about Betsy DeVos, DeVos and a quote in here from Betsy. It says, have organi- organizations that I have been a part of supported Common Core? Of course, but that's not my position. Sometimes it's not just students who need to do their homework. So she's come out and vocally released a statement post her appointment to say, no, I am not in favor of Common Core. So I think people can evolve on issues, and I think it's probably easier to... Uh, being pro-life is is super near and dear to my heart, and I will take any law that makes it harder to get an abortion, but supporting those laws, some people will accuse you of being for abortion because you say, if, if they want to limit abortions past 18 weeks, and it's currently 24, I'll save those six weeks of babies, I'll support that legislation. Sure. It's just a, a battle in the war. But, you know, she's come out and she said she's against it, and I think that that should make a lot of people uh, happy. She so. had me at vouchers, which well, will turn every... Teachers Union in America yes. against her, but vouchers, charter schools, and she supports homeschooling. Um, and she she says very openly that she supports public education. It's not as though she's against it, but if you're if if you're not just vehemently and and solely for public education, a lot of the teacher union types will say that you're completely against it. The, the, the thing that I have a problem with, and, and going through these comments on this article last night, person after person after person was saying, I don't want my tax dollars going to your kids' religious education. So I send my kids to a Lutheran school in Edwardsville. And I went to a Lutheran school myself. And I went to a public high school and a a Lutheran high school. So I've been to public and I've been to private. They've both been great. And I I, I, I think the education I got at both places was fantastic. However, the problem that I have is, how come my tax dollars have to go into the public education system where they're indoctrinating students on a variety of issues that I would not want my children... To be Exposed hearing to. about from from public educators, I don't want them hearing about abortion in fifth grade or sex ed from a from a public educator that doesn't have a religion religious aspect in it about right. practicing safe sex when you're twelve. I don't need I don't need my child hearing that. So why is my, why do my tax dollars have to go to the leftist propaganda that gets put out in the public and education, and your tax dollars can't go so my kid can hear about Jesus? I'm with you. You know, and I could completely. And the thing I don't understand about that, there's been such a monopoly in the public schools for so long, a little bit of competition is going to improve the way they're educating. And, and you can tell they're they're feeling the heat because they have the teachers unions assure the teachers that they don't have to have, compete. Right. It's they're so no, I set agree. up. I agree. I would agree with that. And um, hopefully she has some impact on that. We know Trump supports it. Mm hmm. Maybe it's something they can do with well, you know, a majority in both houses. Another I don't big know. knock Still that people thin. have against Betsy DeVos is that she has never been an educator. And so I looked it up. She has four children. So if, if as a mother, I have three kids, you have children. As a mother, you have a vested interest in the education system. As, as, as much of a vested interest as you possibly can have. So I don't understand this whole concept of you have to be an educator to be able to be involved in the system to help look at the system and assess the system. I, 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 I must not be able to see clearly there because that seems to be a very, very common knock against her. No, no, I would agree. And I'm not quite sure why that would be necessary. You, you, you're a consumer of education mm-hmm. regardless you your point's well taken. Annie Fry, the Annie Fry Show, which is on here, of course, 5 to 7 on Saturday nights. Yep. Thank you for having awesome. me Awesome. Hey, thanks for coming in. Sure. I appreciate it. I want to get your thoughts on that. Uh, 314-436-7900.